Okay, go ahead. Brad, would you like to confirm whether or not you have gotten to step Charlie dot twenty two? I'm in the four minute wait right now on step twenty, but I've closed off the uh, vent valve. Copy. And also, Roger, while you're waiting, if if possible, we'd like you to uh, square up the TVC one. It got bumped. Is it making you dizzy yet? Hi, Phil Space Lab. Just want to verify that those uh, argon and helium regulators are still in a good position before I uh, move on. Do the GC calibration. Affirmative, they still look good. Copy. Okay, sub pencil for Greg. Go ahead, Alan. Affirmative, this is the first test point of the group, and you will select calibrate as well. Uh, stand by one, please. Got to do something here in the tunnel. Okay, I'm ready to go here. I'm going to just uh, repeat back what I'm going to do. Uh, be sure we got this clear. I'm going to keep the flame within the field of view of the image. I'm going to prevent it from lifting off. If it does lift off, I'll reattach it. And I'll go slowly and try and find the smoke point. It's got about six clicks in either direction. That's a good recap. Here we go. Filling the fuel line. It's wonderful. It has no moving parts to it, and it's got a long life. 
Here I'm shifting some of the fluid around. We don't have gravity to help uh, get bubbles out, so when a bubble does form, we just put a little uh, centrifugal force on it and, and move the bubble that way. And here I'm, I'm reinstalling it in the glove box. And these heat pipes have great uh, application on the ground and potential for the future for, say, getting some of the geothermal heat from the ground and transferring up to uh, the sidewalks to melt snow, for example, in the wintertime, or having them on bridges so that we never have to worry about ice in the wintertime also. Okay, this is a procedure called an in-flight maintenance procedure. This is something that you don't expect to have to do, but if you do, the ground will send up a procedure. And in this particular case, I am removing one of the lockers from the mid-deck, and I'm going to go back behind the wall and inspect a bolt that we think may have been damaged, and we're not sure, and we want to check it out so we can have the right configuration on entry. Sometimes we have to work in some tight places. Here you can see two bolts side by side, one from the locker I just removed and one from the locker with the problem. Pretty soon I'll get it all in focus and point to the one that uh, has, should have the problem. The loose one is the locker that's out. The not loose one is the locker that's in. And it has been, I did loosen the bolt a couple of times. focus in on the front part of the bolt so you can get a better look at that. There's the front end of the bolt. It is very secure. And, go ahead. and I think all of us here are confident that that bolt will work just fine for entry and hold the locker in place or Astro PGBA if that's where we decide to place that experiment. Okay, well that's today's screw choice downlink. Once again, we'd like to say thanks to Mission Control. We know uh, uh, I said it was halfway through for the flight crew. It's also halfway through for Mission Control and haven't been a Capcom. I understand how hard y'all have to work for uh, for long, unending hours to uh, to make it look this easy to us. So we certainly appreciate your work. Uh, we will do it again tomorrow. Thanks a lot. And uh, Janice, uh, if you would try to give him a call. Mike, Mike is Janice, Janice on Space Station Mare. Hey, you're loud and clear, Janice. This is uh, Mike Fall on uh, Space Station Mare. What we're doing right now is uh, I'm enjoying the first cup of tea I've had in about uh, two months because we just unpacked the progress vehicle, not all of it, but just parts of it. And we're just screwing baggage and EVA pieces and food and, uh, and air and water all over the place here. Over. Well, actually, Janice, we're not sure we have got fresh food. Uh, when we opened up the hatch, there was this wonderful smell of fresh air, and, we, and it smelled like apples, but um, as we've been unpacking it, we haven't found the fruit yet, so maybe it's at the very bottom, over. We actually have some Russian food on board here, Mike. They've added some of the Russian food from the meal program to the menu, and I've got some corn here. It's got even got Russian on it. Kukurusa, um, Garachai, Vadi, Dva, Ipiat, Minuta. And it even has it, when they translate it, they translate it into 100 milliliters, so we had to do some conversion here to get it to work on the galley. Over. Well, you can tell we're moving into an international world because my tea with cream here is the pure American brand, and it only comes in ounces. And of course, we only use milliliters here, and I was trying to figure out how many milliliters to make this tea with. Over. We were also wondering, Mike, if you've had a chance to see Hail Bob. We've been looking for it, and it's been too close to the sun. We haven't been able to find it. Have you seen it in the last couple of days? Over. Uh, negative, no. We have not seen it for a while. Uh, Sash from the city said it was really great about um, a month ago. Um, actually, I have just got uh, done with running, and I've been looking at the galaxy, at Sagittarius, in the center of the galaxy, where the, uh, the big dust clouds are. And Jupiter is just above it. And I must say, it's a pretty wonderful thing to look at uh, the galaxy from space. I hope you guys are having time to look out the window. Over. Yeah, Mike, this is Jim Hall. Again, I got to talk to you a little bit just a couple of days ago when we had uh, the SARX contact. Yeah, I've got some uh, amateur astronomers on board. They're pointing out uh, Venus and Mercury along with the crescent moon going down right at sunset. And then uh, we also see uh, Jupiter, and uh, I think we're going to see, or we have seen Saturn also. So uh, we're going to see all that stuff. Yeah, I must say I'm turning into a little bit of a star guy myself. I've, um, I'm
I'm hoping to find a start chart in this progress, but uh, uh, we haven't got to all the stuff. I've just been enjoying the letters and uh, various little special things that my, my friends at back home have sent and a bunch of other people at work. And uh, I must say right now it's um, the most frustrating thing, Jim, and, and probably this is not true for you, is that I haven't seen a picture from Mars yet. None of us on this spacecraft has seen a picture from Mars, and I'm sure you have, over. Hey Mike, uh, it's Mike Gerhardt here. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Well, Mike, we've been doing just fine. As I say, we've been unpacking the progress and stuff. And I was wondering if you've been seeing these pictures from the uh, the Pathfinder mission on Mars, though. Yeah, Mike. Uh, mission Control's done an excellent job of keeping us posted. Uh, they set us up uh, within probably a half an hour of the landing. Uh, the uh, still photos, black and white photos, and then later that day they sent us up a uh, video file in color. And uh, it showed the, the lander with the airbags and the rover, and uh, it's really awesome to, uh, to, to look at the landscape. It looks a lot like what you think it would from the old uh, Viking photos. And uh, Sasha just came by and uh, heard all that. This is um, Sasha Lazutkin. And uh, I think I want Sasha to say hello to you all. So here's Sasha. Who's um, that, Sasha? Hello, crew of Columbia. We say hello from uh, our crew. We agree in space. Nobre Utah. Or Nobre Vitro, or whatever it is over there. Good evening. Have a problem? Mike, to you and uh, both your comrades, we want to we want to wish you the very best. I mean, uh, we've been following your uh, your progress, and uh, our uh, our thoughts have been with you as you've, as you've dealt with the problems that you had to deal. You've done just an outstanding job. So we would appreciate it if you would pass on to your crewmates just. Uh, just how magnificent we think they're doing up there, and uh, and, uh, and and we all look forward to your return and their return later on here to Earth. And Bill, we certainly enjoyed the opportunity to talk to Mike, and uh, boy, he sure seems in good spirits. Thanks for setting that up. Uh, it was a pleasure, and uh, we sure appreciate uh, you folks letting us uh, uh, listen along with you.